Okay, good morning everybody. Welcome to FASCON Automotive Edition. I'm really glad you're all here and we have an exciting lineup of both industry and academic talks for you today. My name is Matthew Smith. I'm a professor of computer science at the University of Bonn and Fraunhofer FKE, and it's my pleasure to guide you through today's talks. Um, I want to keep it short and sweet, so I'm going to pass the mic over to Sergei, who will uh, give some introductory words from our host, Code Intelligence, this morning. Okay, thank you, Matthew, for the introduction, and welcome everyone to the FOSCON uh, Europe Automotive Edition. It's great to see that many people connected here from all over the world. I just read that there are people from Singapore uh, or uh, Tokyo. And uh, the amount of people also shows the interest for fast testing, secure development, and DevSecOps uh, in general uh, for automotive. Um, I'm especially proud for the great uh, lineup today, and thus a big thanks to all the speakers today. Without you, it wouldn't be possible to host this event. But also a special thanks to my uh, team who helped me to organize this conference. And actually, it's not our first time doing this event. Uh, it all started 2018 with a meetup in Bonn where we decided to host a real conference, which we uh, indeed, de uh, indeed did uh, in 2019, starting with the event, What's All the Fuss About?, with around 60 people uh, in Bonn. And this September, due to the pandemic, we had to switch to a, a virtual conference, giving us also the opportunity to make this event a bit larger. And uh, we hosted a full day uh, event with more than 1,000 registrations, and at the peak with 700 people online at the same time uh, listening to the talks, uh, which also is uh, like, um, shows a huge uh, interest in this uh, uh, to topic. And uh, there, uh, there was the focus mainly on research and uh, coming uh, with the research and industry together. And uh, the researcher part was about 150 people and all the other people came from uh, the industry. And a big part of it was from the automotive industry, making it uh, around 200 people uh, in total. And after this event, we get a lot of requests and feedback from automotive, uh, um, basically asking us questions, how would this work for automotive? Uh, and thus we decided to host an event focusing on automotive only, uh, and in a shorter um, uh, term, basically that we only have three hours uh, uh, where we uh, focus on the challenges, but also on the specific demands in uh, automotive. Uh, and secure uh, software development. So who am I? I'm Sergey, one of the four co-founders of Code Intelligence. And uh, before uh, founding Code Intelligence, uh, my uh, work and research was mainly focused on usability research. Um, and also I worked as a software developer in automotive and later I switched to uh, the university and Fraunhofer uh, to do research in secure software development. And in our research projects, uh, we worked uh, closely with the industry, some parts of the industry uh, coming from the automotive sector, and we had a key observation there. Uh, uh, when we analyzed all the software uh, source code um, from the industry, uh, we found that most of our bugs have been found with uh, fuzzing, um, but fuzzing has not really been adopted in the industry. And this is how Code Intelligence got founded. We decided to found with the vision that we enable companies to easily integrate fuzz testing into their uh, software development process. And what to expect from today, based on the name uh, FASCON, uh, it suggests that fast testing will be probably a big part of that. And uh, there is a clear uh, trend that uh, fast testing is on the rise. So outside the automotive industry, uh, uh, the first tech leaders, uh, uh, such as Google, uh, claim that they find 80% of their software bugs with uh, fuzzing alone, giving it the other 20% uh, for uh, the other approaches. 
uh, at least for some specific projects. And one of the most prominent examples is the Google Pro, uh, Chrome project, where they have uh, they found more than 20,000 bugs in two years alone, and this uh, in an automated manner, uh, with a few people setting up the entire uh, fast testing pro uh, process. And this also shows uh, the capability or what can be achieved uh, with fuzzing. And there is a huge trend that more and more companies are uh, going to this trend. Um, but what is so special about automotive? Uh, automotive is basically an old fashioned industry. And uh, at some point they implemented all the processes in the, uh, the V model, um, basically showing that you have a very strict processes for the development. And then it comes to the Q and A uh, department and the quality and assurance ensures that the quality uh, is all right. And then there is a kind of uh, feedback loop. But if we look to the trend to the other industries, um, they implement a more modern, lean, DevSecOps-oriented process, uh, saving tons of money, which would be also interesting for the automotive industry. And it's not surprising that this is something what the automotive industry is also thinking about. And uh, most of uh, the players there are moving to the, a new kind of uh, processes. But it simply doesn't work out of the box. There are regulations, some specific automotive uh, differences, uh, and uh, project scopes which uh, don't uh, uh, let uh, DevSecOps uh, work out of the box. And today, the today's talks will cover on all the lessons and uh, all the results uh, achieving in the SEC part of DevSecOps. So basically, the focus today is on the SEC part of um, DevSecOps. Um, and we also will uh, uh, talk a lot about uh, the different tooling, about the different challenges, uh, and maybe uh, one or the other talk will also make uh, some suggestions what a company might do to uh, enable a secure software development. So if we have a look uh, to the current uh, state of the art um, of uh, DevSecOps in the automotive industry, you still see that in most of the big players, there still are different departments. So basically, you have a development department, you have a Q&A department, you have an operations department, you have a, a security department which kind of contradicts the idea of this uh, DevSecOps uh, uh, movement. But you also see that a lot of companies try uh, still to uh, uh, move to uh, the processes. And uh, here you see that, uh, for instance, uh, the static code analysis is already widely adopted in the process, giving uh, the developer some kind of feedback on his code style and uh, what is good or uh, bad behavior. But at the same time, we notice that most developers from automotive industry don't use dynamic uh, testing or uh, fuzzing at all, or even worse, they don't know anything about it. And if we look at the regulations, for instance, uh, ISO 21343, it even states that uh, fast testing should be used. Um, and this is uh, what is done in the security departments of automotive. So pen testers and Q&A people heard about fuzzing and mostly used uh, the power of black box fuzzing um, in their uh, testing processes. But this makes development also very slow because uh, once the security people find uh, the issues in the security process, they give it back to the uh, to the development, and there are uh, weeks of how a, a single bug could be fixed. And if we compare it to the other industries where uh, it's already uh, faster, uh, it's a kind of disadvantage and. Uh, we see a good trend that uh, automotive is not that fashion, uh, old fashioned anymore. There is a clear trend that they uh, go to the same movement. Um, and other challenges uh, uh, for automotive to implement this kind of fast approaches is that they have numerous of uh, regulations which you need to consider. And this we will hear in some of the talks, uh, but also that there are hundreds of uh, ECUs as part um, of the hardware uh, in automotive, where you have to consider uh, the communication between several nodes uh, in a single car. And also, uh, 
based on the on the history of uh, all the processes, the uh, automotive often has a different tooling. There are a lot of commercial compilers, even own operating systems, uh, uh, making it kind of hard to implement that. And we will uh, talk about that, how to overcome the challenges. So what's the mission for today? My personal mission for the future is that most software bugs in automotive will be uh, covered in the development process and fast testing will be a fundamental part of that. Um, but now enough of code intelligence, uh, let's come to the most important part, uh, our uh, talks today, uh, who will present uh, what they achieved in their companies. And with that, I would like to give over to Matthew and thank you.